Okay, I wanted to do this, but I wasn't sure because I don't usually watch anime anymore because I grew up. Oh, no, that's mean. Um, but, no, I don't usually watch anime anymore, but in last semester of college, this girl always would not shut up about that show. She's like, you gotta watch Attack on Titans. It is the coolest show ever. And I'm like, fuck that. I'm not gonna watch anime. Um, but, yesterday, I was extremely lonely, had nothing to do all day, was home all day, so I'm just like, fuck it, I'll watch Attack on Titans every episode. So, I liked the action in the show, but the dialogue was, like, stupid. I'm sorry. It, I don't watch anime very much, especially Naruto, that, that show. Fuck that. There's, I don't like shows that only have dialogue. Um, this show has a lot of action. My screen turns off. This show has a lot of action, but it's just dramatic. It's so, it's so dramatic. It's like a movie you would see on the big screen. It's just really dramatic in a lot of parts. And traumatic, because those monsters like the Titans just rip people's heads off and rip them in half and eat them and stuff. Those are the only parts I wanted to see of this show. Yeah, the, the blonde girl's evil. The best friend who's blonde is a pussy. That's how I can describe him. He's like, no, 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 it's dangerous. I can't do it. I, I can't describe him. You have to, like, watch a parody of that show because the main character and the blonde character, they bitch a lot. Um, in the beginning episodes, like, one and two, um, well, let me say, he grows up within, he grows up three years, um, he, he grows three years older in one episode, or no, second episode. Um, one thing I noticed they do, like, every anime, and that show is, <gasps> they always do that thing in every anime. It drives me crazy. Whenever something surprising happens, they'll be like, <gasps> it's like, why do you do that? In real life, no one does that. Um, <laughs> it might just be an Asian thing. Um, and a lot of nerdy anime kids are probably going to be like, that's not how this story goes. You're wrong. You're wrong. Um, yeah, I'm simplifying the story because it's way too long, and it could just end in four episodes. It really could just end in four episodes. They could be like, these are my three friends, uh, I want to do this, um, this guy's like this, this girl's like this, this boy's like this, and he transforms, he later he transforms because his dad molests him. That's what, that's what it looks like. It looks like his dad is raping him in the episode. But his dad's like, stand strong, stand strong. I'm, ju I'm just going to give you the shot that's going to turn you into a monster later. So, he transforms into that cool fighting thing for two episodes out of 25 episodes. I just think that's retarded. I'm sorry, that's stupid. He should transform more because he looks cool like that. It would be more useful. First time he transforms, he's beating the shit out of all the big monsters. And then... You gotta wait to like 24 episodes before he transforms again and fights again. Because the blonde chick, who doesn't have emotions and doesn't like anyone, is evil. I'm gonna... I'm just spoiling it for anyone who wants to watch this show. I mean, they make it so dramatic and overly done. It's like a Transformers movie. It's it's and then a lot of action and then and then a lot of action. It's just stupid. I'm gonna say that the show is stupid because there's too much dialogue. That's why I think Naruto is stupid. That's why I think Bleach is stupid. That's why I think all those shows are pointless to watch because you gotta wait like a hundred episodes before you actually see someone fight. And if they fight, they'll fight for ten seconds and just talk the whole fight. It's boring. It's boring. They need to just make an anime where there's constant fighting and less dialogue. They gotta do that. 
for people who don't want to hear shitty dialogue for every single episode. Like, in every episode of this show, there's they're spinning from those from those fucking rope things that just flying around and then there's dialogue. There's just tons of dialogue and then in one little part of the episode there's some action. It's more action than I've seen in other animes growing up and I'm glad I don't watch anime anymore. I am really glad because those people at Fanime are fucking crazy. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just uh, too honest. Yeah, I am, but really Do you want to hear some random anime character bitch about how he wants to kill all the titans? I want to kill all the titans! They kill my mom! They're mean! <coughs> That's like the first three episodes and the rest of the show. <clears throat> he still does that. His eyes get all big. He's all serious. He's like, I want to kill all the titans! It's like, dude, dude, we know you're crazy, but shut the fuck up. Um, and his gay little friend, the blonde-haired kid, the... The strongest character in that show is probably the girl. The girl is the strongest character. She punches the guy in the face. It's better. And I would give the two main character guys, their pussy rating would be about 11 out of 10. Um, their little bitch rating would be 30 out of 10. Because they never shut up, they never stopped complaining, and the blonde-haired dude never stopped crying. And the one cool character in that show is the one, the guy, who looks kind of like a girl. Like all animes. Like most animes. The guy that has pretty eyes, and is always serious, and you just want him to die most of the time. He can go really fast, and he spins really fast, and he kills really fast and it's like you could just make a show with him and not need these stupid three characters that always talk yeah um I'd say watch it if you're an anime <clears throat> if you're an anime fan I'd say watch the show because You'll probably like it. I just don't like too much dialogue. It ruins the, the show. When there's not enough action and too much dialogue. Um, I'm just afraid that this show is going to turn into another Naruto kind of show. Where it just turns into constant dialogue. Less action. And then just takes like 15 episodes to get one fight in. It's just boring. <clears throat> but that's just me. I don't... Anime drives me crazy. If you're going to say, well, why did you watch it? It's because I was bored, like I said in the beginning. I was bored. I could have watched every episode of Naruto, but then that would have taken me, I don't know, five years because they never stopped making episodes of that show and they should stop. I know that because my friend watches anime. He likes anime. I don't really like that much. Yeah, so that's Attack on Titans. And there's a there's an abridged parody series of it, and they just like get the whole show completely right for the first episode. And that's that. But yeah. I want to make a meme by how he transforms. He goes, he bites his finger, there's a little squirt of blood, and then he just, electricity shoots from the sky, and he transforms. <clears throat> Which, by the way, the armored metal titan, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about, later, <clears throat> well, in the beginning, first episode, who destroys everything, he's a human, and he transforms into a titan, like the main character. I know that because the main character has this little bolt of electricity that just zaps him and he turns into a monster instantly. And in the first episode, a little bolt of electricity came down and then that giant ass titan appeared and then killed everyone. 
So it's obviously a person. Um, transforming into a... I don't know, I sound too nerdy with this anime. Yeah. If anyone in the comments wants to disagree with me, go for it. I don't watch anime anymore. It's repetitive and boring. <clears throat> Only fight scenes are cool with anime. So, complain. Do whatever you want to this video. Whatever. I really don't care. I'm probably just going to delete the comment or call you a nerd. Okay, bye.